All right, take a look at this in-between compound inequality. Now, an in-between compound inequality is when you have an entire inequality with less thans, or it could be less thans or equal tos, uh, and you have whatever variable in the middle. In this case, this problem is a little different because the variable is not alone, not even close. I have what appears to be a two-step equation. So when you have a compound inequality that's in between like this, whatever you do to the middle, you do to all three sides. So if I look at 3p minus 6, my first thinking is I have to get rid of minus 6 first. So let's add 6 to all three sides. That crosses out. 3p drops down in the middle, less than and less than also drops down. Negative 36 plus 6 is negative 30. Negative 15 plus 6 is negative 9. Now, is p alone yet? Nope. Let's divide everything by 3, divide everything by 3, divide everything by 3, cross you out. p is now alone in the middle. Negative 30 divided by 3 is negative 10. Negative 9 divided by 3 is negative 3. And now what this says is P is any number in between and not including negative 10 and negative 3. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to mark this up. So let's do negative 10, negative 9, negative 8, negative 7, negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, and 0. P lives in between negative 10 and negative 3, but not including. So here we put a circle at negative 10. I meant to make that the thicker version, so let's try that again. I'll take it. We put a circle at negative 3. Don't fill it in, though, because you're not including that either. And the number that I choose has to be any number in between negative 10 and negative 3, but you're not allowed to include either of them. So what this blue shading represents is I could choose negative 9, I could choose negative 6.5, I could choose negative 4, I can choose negative 3.1, and plug that into this P in the middle, and whatever number in this blue shading that I plug into the original equation is going to give me negative 36 is smaller than blah, 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 and is also smaller than negative 15, and it'll be a true statement. Okay, so that's how you solve and graph a compound and or in-between inequality.